I would also make a law that, like, you don't have to make Elsie all the time. <laughs> <laughs> You're my kind of prime minister. No broccoli? All yeah. right. <laughs> stop all the factories and we would stop all the construction and we would have the lines back. How does that happen? Because we talked about factories bring jobs, da, 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 da. so... In an actual way we can um, bring jobs and make food, like First Nations and African, they had their, they used, they, they, um, the moose, they used the fur for the they didn't. They were proud. They they didn't. Um, they didn't, didn't waste, waste anything. No, nope. they they used the bones for tools. They used the fur for clothes. Honestly, um, I think more funding needs to be in place for. There's a massive amount of people who can't afford daycare, right. who can't afford to stay home. Also, they okay. they want to give their kids the Shut best up. they can, and the cost of living is ridiculously high now so there, there needs to be more funding available and that's just the main thing more funding available means more daycares more daycare spots cheaper daycare gives people an opportunity to actually be able to make more for themselves than than and save perhaps common yes pricing. that's that's the problem you like, know yeah because most of your money goes on thank you sweetness most of your money goes on on, on daycare, daycare so then then your rent and your and then what's left is not a lot exactly not and the lot. cost of living is just going up more and more so and have you noticed how the salaries have gone up in accordance oh, with that oh, i know i know <laughs> i hear that one <laughs> what would the two of you do say i'd say everyone gets every the parent, like they can they, yeah would you make it a law? Yeah. Yeah. So like, uh, only girls and boys can have the same amount of 